I'm Jane Davenport, I'm at scrapbook.com and just like everyone else in the known universe, I love washi. So much so that I decided to supersize it. This is my new washi sheets and there are four different designs. There are mermaids galore and beautiful girls galore. I'm going to show you one of my favourite ways to use these. We're going to have to cut this in half. So I give you permission to chop at will. I'm just folding that in half, taking my scissors, snip, snip, snip. So this is so it can go through my deep sea die cutter. Then I want to make my little die cutting sandwich. So I've got the platform, the plate. Oh, I want to use the one that I've already used. Pop that down. I've got the right side up, the side that I want to show when I stick this down. I've got that facing up towards me. It's best not to emboss with uh, the washi papers, just for cutting, they're great with that. And I've got a couple of my dies here. I'm going to use the girl from the Tada set and my cute little unicorn. He's called the Happy Unicorn. And the fun part of these is you can place the dies so that you capture some of these background artwork that I have for you. So I'm going to capture the little like, face there in this girl's skirt. That is what called to me. And I wonder if I can get that eye in my unicorn like that. So I can get some other dies out and completely fill this up. Or I can just leave this open because I can always run the same piece of paper back through the die cutter at any point in time. It's actually a little easier if you set your platform up before in actual position so that you're not moving things around, especially for this technique where we're picking out particular places on this paper that we want to use. And I just flip that around because I like my name to face me as I'm doing it. it. Makes me feel special. Just pushing that towards the front there, I like to just do a little half crank there so I've got it started, pop my hand on the top and then La -di -da -di -da. I do wiggle a little bit when I die cut. Wiggling and die cut is allowed. Uh, lifting my dies off. Oh, so that one came off inside the die. This one here, I'm going to just wiggle her out of the paper. But look how well she cut. Look how cute she is with the little face in the skirt. There are some little details that I'm going to need to use my awl just to, I can just pop these out. Again, I can keep these and use them, you know, for something else if I wanted to. She's just got a little space in the legs there. And my little unicorn, if they are in there, all you need to do is just find that right little hole, just press through. He lifts up and I can just peel him out. Just remembering that these little lines are going to be delicate. So just be a little mindful. But how cool is that with a little eye? It's quite cool. Now I'm going to move my die cutter out of the way. Sorry, deep sea die cutter. I'll see you again. I've got my Jane Davenport mixed media art journal. Beautiful paper, nice clean page. Mainly so I can show you how cute these little embellishments are. I love the word embellishment. I like saying it, I like looking at it, I like thinking about it, and I like creating the embellishments. But these are all just the little happy unicorn and the Tada girl, just using the different washi papers. So now I can pick one of these to create a, just a really nice clean page. I am going to pick, I think I'm going to go for this little chicky boom here. She is cute. Now the only tricky part of this whole thing, oh, I love the blue paint on my nice gold uh, fingernails. Oh no, I did it like a pro, look at that. Now, this is a little delicate, so you just do have to finesse. 
a little tiny bit. I'm keeping hold of the big part. I'm really just going to pop that down on the page where I, wherever it lands and then start in the middle of this and then work out. Now that I think, I don't know, it should be okay. Just tease that out, same thing, just delicately, just with my, it's not difficult, you just have to finesse it a little, a little light touch. Oh, she's so cute. And because she's jumping off on this angle, I'm going to just take a pen and I'm going to give her just a little horizon line. So she's sort of jumping in the air, having a bit of fun. I'm feeling this way at the moment, feel like jumping in the air. And I like to do this because it sounds good for a start. It's fun and it just is giving me a loose border and it's containing uh, just this little piece of artwork to one spot. I'm going to finish this off with a little bit of stamping. Now I could write something, I could journal around it, I could write a little journal message, but I love this little cute stamp set, this unicorn. Hmm but I'm going to use my new squid ink. Just the easiest way is just to open it here at the side. And uh, I like to ink the stamp rather than the other way around. Tap, 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 tap. And what I have to watch out for myself is that I don't ink the block as well. But this stamp pad makes it so much easier for me. I'm not the best inker in the world. Uh, of course, this is a nice clear stamp block so I can see exactly what I want to do. And again, I can audition and I think I'm going to come up here. I'm going to let it cover up some of the lines here. I could even let it cover the girl because this is the type of ink it is. It's a hybrid ink. That squid ink will go over the washi as well. I'm going to pop it there and I hope that I've done a good job. Oh, perfect. Not that I'm into perfection, but... It is nice when things work out. And this is, this is, I would just leave this as this. I could do a little bit of extra journaling if I wanted. I could add a little bit of extra depth around here. But it's just a nice little simple page. You could also use this for a card. Um, use it in scrapbooking, add some photos, memory keeping, however you want to have fun with this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, ring that bell, leave a comment, send us a love message. Happy crafting.